The secretary to the government of the Federation, SGF boss Mustafa, on Tuesday criticized those calling for the sack of service chiefs. Mustafa declared the administration of President Mohamed Buhari will not sack the service chiefs now. He said there are processes that must be followed to affect their sack. According to him, we're in a very difficult time now. We need everybody to be on board. We need synergy within intelligent community, within the military formations that will help fight this war. We are in a very difficult situation, and when we begin to create cracks and divisions, who will be the beneficiaries? He spoke with reporters in Abuja after a book presentation titled CAN, Can Religion, Politics and Power in Nigeria by former General Secretary of Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, and General Samuel Saliouf. The SGF said what government needs at this moment is for everybody to be on the same page, fight the battle of securing the nation, for protecting lives and property, and ensuring that every Nigerian has the opportunity to live a prosperous life. Now, joining us live in the studio to discuss this further this evening is political analyst Biodun Showumi. Thank you for staying with us, Biodun. It's my pleasure. I need your quick reaction to this comment coming from Boss Mustafa. The sacking of the service chief, the administration of President Mama Burari will not sack the service chiefs. Yeah, it's expected. It's only taken after past administrations in the country where um, um, those who have uh, spent their tenure, who are needed to leave office, you know, uh, often has to continue in office. What what is doing or the government is doing is not, not something new. But what you see is that it only underlies one thing, the failure to learn from the past. You know, because in the past, how did we get to where we are? It's simply because we allow... Um, people who are tired, who should be retired, you know, to continue in office. And yes. when you do that, you can't bring in the fresh blood to have a fresh thinking, you know, to the problem. Basically, what Boss Mustafa is saying is that, look, we have a major security problem. We need everybody on board. We don't need a crack, so there's no need, you know, to get rid of the service chiefs. But the fact of the matter is you have not been able to solve the problem, so you need fresh thinking. So. They have tried their best, you know, Ratai, all the service chiefs, they have tried their best within uh, their competence. But the fact of the matter is the nature of the war is changing from time to time. And you need younger, you know, fresh blood to come in and um, take a look at it and then try and solve the problem. All right. Maybe we'll argue the fact that it is more about our security architecture. And some others have said it's more about the strategy being employed. What, where would you tilt to? Is there so much about our security architecture or the strategy being employed by, by our military in the fight against this insurgency? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's about our military architecture. Okay. You know, the fact of the matter is we are not experienced in fighting insurgency. We have no experience of doing it. Don't forget, we fought civil war. It was a conventional war. Yes. And since then, we've been, we've, we, we're a very responsible country. We've contributed so many troops to peacekeeping, you know, operations in Africa and in other parts of the world, uh, in Lebanon and so on and so forth. But the fact of the matter is, in many of those cases, we were confronted with conventional war, not, you know, guerrilla warfare. So what you're seeing currently is insurgency. It's not easy to defeat insurgency. It mutates. It could take over a place now, then abandon it, and then embark on attacking individuals or attacking economic um, um, objects, you know, and all that. So uh, it's not what we're used to. It's not easy to bomb insurgents and kill them. You can see what the Russians are going through in Syria. Um, it's never going to be easy, you know, for any country doing that. The Americans currently are talking to the Taliban. They just reached an agreement to uh, the to, to de-escalate, that is to reduce um, uh, violence. Yes. You know, so if it has been all that easy, the Americans will have defeated Taliban. So I'm very clear it's not about the security architecture, it's just that we need to have the right equipment, we need to have the right training for our, uh, uh, gallant soldiers, you know, trying to contain uh, Boko Haram and other armed terrorists within our country. So without doing that, and basing, you know, having that, you know, the synergy with um, intelligence agencies, uh, we are going to always going to find it difficult. So I don't think leaving the service chiefs in place will solve the problem. I think we need a new thinking, bringing in fresh people. And, and so you're pro sacking of the service chiefs. I am not for sacking them. I'm okay. for when their tenure expired, they should go. They should go, which maybe we've argued that it's not so much for sacking, is that most of them have expired, their tenure has they, they expired, they they've need gone to be beyond replaced. the age limit. They need to be replaced, yes. yes. So what is the alternative to sacking the service chief, given our current security 
situation, situation in the country? Given the current security situation in the country, we need to be more careful because even if you're going to bring in you know, foreign countries to help us, if you buy all the necessary equipment, you need to have the necessary training in place. Do not forget the Americans were once here. They wanted us to help us under Jonathan um, to deal with Boko Haram issue, but overnight, uh, Boko Haram themselves already have the maps of where they will bomb. So are you saying our military are not adequately trained or so much of them being under equipped to, there is to a fight suspicion. this war? There is a suspicion of sympathy okay. that there are some people in the military, you know, uh, that sympathize with um, those insurgents, yes. the Boko Haram insurgents, uh, based on um, either uh, religion, ideology or whatever. So the fact of the matter is we need to look at our security, um, uh, um, the security again. We need to look at the nature of the war we are fighting, equip our boys properly, train them, get them well motivated, you know, in order to uh, deal with this um, security problem we are facing. Mr. Biodun Shomi, political analyst, thank you for staying with us and for it's your contribution. Thank you.